Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia. I am Dr. Majid Ali. The title of this video, Can Probiotics Be Harmful? This is a question posed to me by one of my patients recently. She said that she had read someplace that probiotics can be harmful. The best probiotic, of course, is yogurt or yogurt-like products such as kefir. Since my grandfather was a centenarian and he ate yogurt almost every single day, and my grandmother was also a centenarian and she also ate yogurt almost every day, I conclude that eating yogurt every single day is not going to be harmful. Now, the use of other processed probiotics Acidophilus, Bifidobacterium, Streptococcus facium, those are the commonly available probiotics. I will tell you that my colleagues and I at the Institute of Integrative Medicine have prescribed these probiotics to now more than 13,000 patients. And I will tell you from this experience that never once did I have to regret the use of probiotics the way we prescribe them. But I suppose that no matter how good a substance is, if you misuse it, if it is processed wrong, if it is packaged wrong, it could create negative effects. Sometimes people do tell me that after probiotics, they will sometimes have loose bowel movements. And I welcome that because in people who are chronically ill, a very good way of detoxifying the colon is to increase the frequency of the bowel movements, make them effortless and odorless, and if they are loose, that's fine. Generally, this symptom clears up by itself in a matter of a few weeks. On this subject, I remember um, Dr. Linus Pauling, the two-time Nobel laureate, the only American to have won two unshared Nobel Prizes. He was our keynote speaker at the annual meeting of the American College of Advancement in Medicine, and I, that year, was the program director. So I had a wonderful opportunity to share a lunch table with him for almost an hour, and then I drove him to the airport in Dallas, and I got another opportunity to share three hours with him. So at one time, I said, Dr. Pauling, how much vitamin C do you take? And he said, 18 grams. And I said, doesn't it give you loose bowel movements? And he looked at me and he says, young man, what do you have against loose bowel movements? There was much wisdom in that statement. If there are no accidents, there are no urgencies, then I think loose bowel movement is not a bad idea. Of course, if somebody has malabsorption, that's a different issue. So that's my answer to the question. Please keep sending me questions like these. They allow me to increase, enhance the value of this encyclopedia. I will also suggest that please try to benefit from a very substantive library of my own articles, which is posted on www.dralee1.org. One is the number. And I, of course, offer you now over 300 video seminars you can download them from www.aliacademy.org and it will give you the alphabetical list of the seminars which are available. I've organized many of those seminars into courses, for example, course on healing, course on reversing heart disease, course on reversing diabetes, course on fermentation, and I think you will benefit from that. I ask you to share this video with your friends and family. Thank you.